channel today I'm going to try to make Jay and the Libra's skull meatloaf dish. I'm going to attempt to try to make this for the first time and see how it comes out. I don't know. Never done this before. Let's go and get to cooking. So I'm going to use some instant mashed potatoes just like Jay and the Libra did. I'm going to use the Hungry Jack brand. It says one fourth cup water. There goes one cup, and then one fourth is right here. There's one fourth. I'm going to use the Country Crock plant-based butter. I'm going to cut two tablespoons from this stick right here. It didn't cut all the way through, but we have it separated at least, so there's our two sticks of butter. Turn a little piece off. We're going to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. There we go. That goes in right now. So it says to heat the water, salt, and butter to a boil. We're boiling over here, so I'm going to stop this right now. Take the top off. We are cooking. So we are going to do two thirds of milk in our glass. That goes in along with one and one third cup of potato flakes. I'm going to use the measuring cups, not the glass one because this one is for liquids. The solid ones are for dry ingredients. This is one full cup and then we're going to do the one third in this cup. I couldn't find my one third cup, so I'm using a one fourth cup. So a little bit of extra flakes won't hurt anyone. So we're going to fluff that around with our a lovely fork. Stir that around. It's looking good so far. And I'm not going to add cheese to my potatoes. I'm just going to add some spices and herbs. I didn't cook any garlic, so. I'm going to add the garlic and herb all-purpose seasoning from McCormick. I love this one. This one goes so good in everything. And we're just going to sprinkle some in. We're not measuring this at all. We want that full flavor. <laughs> I love my potatoes to be super flavored. Then we're going to go in with some garlic powder to replace cooked garlic. Throw that in there. Along with some parsley. I don't have chives, but... Some Italian herbs doesn't kill anyone. I thought I got parsley. Oopsie doops. Well, now I know what I need to buy. So we're going to add some of that in here as well. They were all mixed together. I didn't see what I was buying. We're going to fluff and stir with our fork. It's looking so good, you guys. Let's see. That smells delicious. I know I didn't add any of the sour cream or the fresh cut and cooked garlic or cheese, but you know what? I ain't mad at it. We're going to let this cool off and set it to the side, and we're going to work on our meatloaf. I went to the store and I got two packs of lame ground beef for our meatloaf, so I'm going to open those up and put them in the bowl right here. I'm going to open this up. Wish me luck. Just slice right down the middle. Then open the package up and place it in the bowl. I didn't buy any Impossible Burger this time, so I'm doing regular lean ground beef. You can use the Impossible Burger like Jade did for hers. I'm going to open this up and then dump it in. Oh come on, now it's stuck in the package. Get out in there. We're going to add two tablespoons of ketchup. Shake this up. Two tablespoons of ketchup. One. Two. We're 
we're going to do one teaspoon of garlic powder right here. Finally, something I have on hand. All right. One teaspoon. Oh, well, it's a little bit extra, but it's okay. There. Can't have too much garlic. We're going to do one teaspoon again of onion powder. I don't have that, so we're going to go in again with the garlic and herb from McCormick. Favorite spice of life. I love this one. Such a great recipe, so it doesn't want to come out. I don't know why. We're going to just dive in with our spoon if we don't make a mess first. Oh, okay, I love it. Okay, there we go. Lots a lot, but it's okay. Just means more flavor, right? One tis one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Just plain old Worcestershire sauce. Not even sure how to say it. So we're gonna add one of that. Like so. To our meat. I don't have parsley for this part, but I do have some beautiful Italian herbs to put in. First off, we have this little takeout cup of salt that Jay got from work, so we're going to use that up. You don't want to waste it. Well, I did all the research on Google, and I don't have any breadcrumbs at the moment. I forgot to get some, just like a few other things in this video, but I do have egg substitute for J and it said that you can replace breadcrumbs with eggs online. I'm just going to add this full vegan just egg to the meatloaf here because you need something that will combine everything and keep it all together so that's why you need the egg. Now it's time to stir everything and I'm going to bust out the old trick or treat mixing spoon right here and get this all stirred and mixed. I hope it turns out good. Really nervous about the egg, but well, you gotta do what you gotta do. So that's what we're doing. We're, luckily we have a huge mixing bowl to do it all in. We're going to fold everything together. Now it looks like a ton in this bowl. Like it actually looks like it will serve a pretty decent amount. Everything is mixed now. I saved you the whole ordeal of mixing all the ingredients together so I saved some time. So here it is, the finished stirred product. It smells so amazing. So it's time to set up our skull pan. So I got this one from Walmart. We're going to move the potatoes out of the way somewhere over here. So they're not hanging on the edge. Those are cold hot enough to put on the table. So we're going to spray our pan with some lovely pan. And you want to make sure that's fully covered and saturated if you have a brush. You can brush in the mixing cranny to make sure everything is sprayed down. You can use gloves if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to take a little bit of ground beef and firmly press it in the mold. Get a little bit more if you have to. These ones are a little bit bigger than in the video, so I need a little bit more meat. Making sure it's like a patty sort of situation going on here. Make sure it's firmly pressed in. And I think that's good. So we're going to do that for all of the other skulls. We have our skull patties already set for our meatloaf. So we're going to make our sauce now. I got one bowl here and I'm going to do two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Like so. There we go. 
don't have the white vinegar, but that's okay. I don't really like white vinegar. I'm going to add the garlic powder, one teaspoon garlic powder. And I don't have any sriracha, so I'm not going to make this one spicy. And you need two and two thirds cup of ketchup. So not to cut. are set and ready to go into the oven. I know they don't look the best, but it's okay. We have one little straggler over there. I recommend getting like maybe four packages of meat if you're going to do this. If you're going to have a party, probably even more. Just to make sure that there is enough to cover the back. That's the only issue I had. So, with that being said, we're going to head over to the oven. We're at the new oven, so we're going to set the time for 3.50. Right there, 3.54. Bake. Already set, 3.50. And then we're going to put it in for, so I say 20 at first and then check it. And then if you need to... Do an additional time, maybe 10 minutes. We're going to position that one and we're going to bake this for 20 minutes. Set our timer for 20 minutes and I will see you back here when it dings. Morning stars and sons of God with an angel named Halo, a Hebrew word which means shining one or light bearer. If you've never heard of Halo, these are how they looked fresh out of the oven. I don't know why there's so much grease. I bought extra lean hamburger and there was so much grease when I cooked it. So I don't know what to do about that. Maybe make them a little bit more thinner next time when I make them. But this is the end result for the skull meatloafs. I'm going to serve the meatloaf on my favorite skull plate that I got a few years ago. And attempt to try to dig one of these out of the pan. <laughs> this is how they came out you guys and there's something I don't know. This one didn't come out too well. 
it's kind of like a blob meatloaf but this one you can kind of see the shape of it so i think that one was like one of the best that came out so let's see how this tastes shall we oh look at that oh that's gnarly kind of looks like it's innards are coming out now so let's see how this tastes oh it's hot i don't know if you can see that steam well, let's see how this tastes Mmm. Not good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Hands down amazing. It didn't come out beautiful, but the flavor is there. A little bit of everything in this one. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is good. Mm. Yay, it's Jay approved. He likes it. I'm so excited. That was me trying to make Jay the Libra skull meatloaf dish. If you guys like this video, please let me know by leaving a huge thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more videos. As always, I'll talk to all of you next time. Bye, everyone.